Well, today we're in the garage of Milt Banks. And Milt is uh, building his own auto cycle from scratch. That's quite a project, Milt. It's going to take you about 10 years now. Now, what do your fellow employees at Boeing think when you tell them you took a perfectly good <laughs> Honda Goldwing and cut it in half and stretched it? Well, obviously, there are always pros and the cons. <laughs> Some people say it's a great project. Others say they would never ever ride in it or whatever, you know, so there's always a pros and the cons. Eh? But this is really a green machine. You're yeah. going to get good mileage. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. but it's based on a was based on a 1984 Honda Goldwing. Yeah. And the body's going to resemble a Pulse yeah. auto cycle. Yeah. 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 And he's right now in the fiberglassing stage. Back here you foamed up yeah. and now you're cutting away the foam and I'm so using the same process as uh, Jim Beatty himself used back in 1981. Yeah. Where this came from. And what kind of foam is this? It's a part A, part B polyester. Oh yeah. Very cool. It's a, it's a big job to do this. You've been working on it ten years. Yeah, I started back in uh, 2001. Got a bit on there. But of course, I had a um, a lapse in the middle of my bill. My wife got sick before my wife passed away, so I lost interest for a while. Now I'm back to trying to get it done. So it starts and runs. Yeah, yeah. Matter of fact, I'll fire it up for you right now. Oh, okay, great. Yeah. That sounds like a gold wing. <laughs> here, I'm going to put my choke here temporarily, but I'm going to move it further forward. Okay. Uh, you can't see now, but here, the switches I put in here, you work my electric uh, reverse motor. In the back, back here. Right. And then your uh, gauges are, they're from the motorcycle. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you see that the blue tail lights with the red light on off? Oh, yeah, that's all. I've got it. I've it off. We don't want to die in here. <laughs> the canopy and the windshield are from? Oh, from, from Todd's. Todd's Canopy. Todd's Canopy of Florida. Florida. Yeah. Now, this around, looks great. And around here, some of the fiberglass deer rough, they have to finish doing this. And then right. I have to build a cover to go over here. Right. So it's still lots of work. So if somebody thinks they can't build their own, here's a good example of what can be done. And we've got another interesting project here. You can tell us about this. Well, what? this is what I found on the web before about turning a regular bike into a three-wheeler. You know, especially when you start getting older, you know, and, and the bike may start getting heavy on you. And so it's a Suzuki. What year? Uh, 2003. 2003. And I found a kit for this on the web for about three grand. I said I built my build my own for about 500. So you've and got. I've had it out on the freeway to set, over 70 miles an hour. Oh. And it didn't fall apart. So they're trailer tires, is what you used for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just weld it up and away you go. Yep. It looks great. It's held to the frame by uh, four U-bolts. No kidding. That's all it takes, yeah. So you can pop I, it off yeah. and... I take the whole thing off in about 10 minutes. <laughs> Put it back on in about 10 minutes. Yeah. Well, that's great. Well, hey, Mel. Thanks again. Very interesting. Yeah, good to have you here. From Seattle, Washington.
Milt, thanks. I hope to see you in Indiana. <laughs> yeah. Great. We want you to bring it to the rally. Uh, yeah, yeah.